James, did you buy No Man's Sky? Yes. Have you played it? No. God. What oh, the fuck? fuck? God, what the damn fuck? fuck? Motherfucker. God damn it. Son of a bitch. Mother. This week we're doing somewhat of a, I guess you could call it a review mm. of No Man's Sky because it was released this week mm. on consoles at least. Well, it comes out today, which is today. Friday. Well, it came out today on PC. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it did. It which did. is having problems. But it's been out on console and it's pretty great. Roll call. Mm. Roll call. However. We need to do roll call. Roll call. <laughs> we haven't done that. Oh, gosh. My name is Aaron. And I'm wearing a Mario shirt. You can't see it. You just have to trust me. He also has a Mario case for his phone. So. I do. You can't see it. You just have to trust me. <laughs> just picture it in your mind's eye. In your mind's eye? In your mind's eye. Who's this sexy man that sitting beside me? third eye. Which one? You. you. Which uh, one is what he says? You're the only sexy bitch sitting here. Oh, okay. Oh! oh. <laughs> We're oh, going to Phil Casey and I, okay. Oh, or yourself, too. I'm not uh, a sexy bitch. That's what I'm saying. James, James is a sexy is... bitch. Uh, no, I, I, lies and slander. No. <laughs> yeah, my name is James. His name is James. My name is James. Is there anything out there that you prefer to name? Jeb. What about games? <laughs> I thought you weren't going to talk a lot on this podcast, Keith. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not going to talk oh, a yeah, lot. I've had a bad Don't you mean games? You more, Don't you mean games, mid and Keith? Thanks. Hey, Phil, what time is it? Dip 30? No, it's Miller time. You're drinking a Miller. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. You fucked up. Well, that's <laughs> Phil. That's, anyway, all, no, that's no, the only roll call. No, 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 that's the only roll call he gets. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm copying Aaron's thing about a t-shirt. I'm wearing a skydive t-shirt right now. And oh my like, god, he is! I've I've been skydiving. We're gonna hear about I've it. I've went See, skydiving. My name is Phil Tucker, about and I'm a skydiver. No one anyway, gives a damn. I don't believe you. I Tandem. need video evidence. Tandem. Shut you up. <laughs> <laughs> If you want video evidence, That's go to YouTube.com and look up Phil Tucker. You'll find his name. That's you'll right, find yeah. Skydiving. Skydive OBX. <laughs> there you go. There's the plug. No one cares. We're getting sponsored by them, by the way. That's true. No one That's cares. a lie. <laughs> That's, not, That's not true at all. <laughs> Phil, stop lying. Just like next. earlier how you said you're getting like $500 million uh, from Twitch. It's true. <laughs> Lost. I'm sure... If the multiverse theory is true, there's a universe out there where Phil is a successful <laughs> It's a good thing not in this there. universe. I'm fucked. And you're getting all the bits. <laughs> all, all the, the bitcoins. Coins. All the bitcoins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Invest in bitcoin. Don't. <laughs> God, don't. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Way to interrupt did, did you Jason's get, roll call. Yeah. <laughs> okay. what, the, what the fuck? Did you get like right up in it, though? Keith. He did get up in it. That's good. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Can I what? say rip? Don't block Jason, Keith. Yeah, Keith, what the fuck? Oh, my God. You're, you're all just... Not only did I, he ignore just, me the other day, but whatever. I'm just loving why, this right why, now. Why ignore Jason? I'm loving this right now. When in doubt, blame it on Keith. That's what a lot of people do. Jason, who are you? It's me, Jason, <laughs> the man who makes bad life choices. You don't make bad life choices. I do make bad life choices. We'll elaborate why you made a bad life choice. I bought a $1,000 Mac because I could. <laughs> so did I. So did I. You are, you are a life. Yeah, but see, the difference Fuck. is I have a $1,000. Another $1,000. Mine was more than $1,000. Mine was $1,200. I have another $1,000 gaming PC, though. So. You built it, right? I did build it. Yeah, but you can use the Mac for, like, editing or whatsoever. Yeah, but I don't edit anything. And even without <laughs> the plans of... He's not me. Behind, He's not going to college for that behind shit. Behind the scenes of maybe actually doing it and developing a Putty Squad website. Don't interrupt, Keith. I'd rather do it in ASP.net, but... fucking hell, Jeb. That's a Microsoft-only thing. 
Yeah. You never. never. And a bottom yeah. So I'm going to do it with Eat HTML. It and I've been watching this job or CSS stuff. Stop it. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to make it all from scratch. I'm sure it'll go terribly. There you go. I believe in you. We all believe in you. I also bought 20-piece chicken nuggets with a big (laughs) basket of fries today. (laughs) So the the bad life choices just proceeded to continue. I've never heard somebody say they bought 20-piece chicken nuggets so mundane. (laughs) (laughs) I bought... Why are you surprised? Like now I jumped out of the car. Just like, uh. Uh, <laughs> are you trying to be like Matthew McConaughey? Be like, I need to be in a Lincoln. Hey James, Jason would be the world's worst stunt man. <laughs> uh, Jason, we, Jason, we need more passion out of you. Uh. Riding around in GTA, just all of a sudden he jumps out of the car. Yeah, uh, like he slid on his face, just like face first on the concrete. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last and certainly not least. I'm the putty, move on. The most important wow. one. I'm the putty, move on. I'm the putty, move on. I'm the putty, move on. Hello, now, my you name played is this Dave. game. You're going to talk about it with us. Okay. I'm telling you right now. I am going to talk about it with you guys. Good. You better. I talk about everything you guys talk about, unless it's like Destiny, then fuck Destiny. Well, you talked about Destiny you last week. You talked about ornaments last week. Oil bungee. <laughs> 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 Oil bungee. Nice. With fur lining and then... Rip. Uh, never mind. Why do you guys have fur? Bungee is the greatest. All hell bungee. Damn it. <laughs> It's just, yes, it's it was just funny. funny how I said it, but it was funny how you said it. Just fuck it. Don't give me a high five. Don't, 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 don't leave him hanging. Give me a high five. Don't leave him hanging. Fuck! Don't leave a pimp hanging. Don't leave him hanging. There we go. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. That was a high five. That was a good or job. He, or he smacked my butt. You'll never know. <laughs> you can't see this. You just gotta have to trust me. I did both. Uh oh, guys. I gotta sneeze. Uh oh. Here we go. Rip Jason. Here we go. It's one of those sneezes that never comes. Here we go. The allergies are coming. Sneeze, 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 sneeze. I don't think it's happening. Do it for the podcast. Era. Do it for the view. That's how I sneeze. Do it for the loose on. Do it for the what? You got a big ass tongue. She. It's very thick. Girl would be very happy. Very, very thick. What Keith said got me. Very, very thick. Very thick. Very sick. I noticed that the very whenever you, the first time you sent that slow motion video to me and Phil, where you were just going, <laughs> what the hell? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever in slow motion, I was like, God, he's got a huge tongue. <laughs> but seriously though, Phil's right. Any girl will love to have you in their lives one day. Oh my, yeah. ladies, any ladies out there? Jason's got that the perfect the tongue sex. for you. Yeah. <laughs> <Wow. Phil. laughs> I am glad Philip's here because you're I have no idea what You're on the ball, on. man. Dang. Way to make it obvious, Phil. Well, I think the four of us are pretty irrelevant right now, Phil. We'll just let you finish this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll be back we'll, by 20 we'll minutes. Get out of here and you just let's, continue on. Let's go get All some right. more 20 piece chicken. All right, here, <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's, let's let Phil have the four for five minutes. It was go only ahead. five bucks, guys. Okay, right, five I minutes of Phil. RuneScape. RuneScape is the best game in the world. All right, that was a terrible yeah. idea. Let's go back. And cut. Yeah, that's done. <laughs> Even last five Jason's dying. dying here. Oh my god! Roll credits. <laughs> we can't even last five seconds without you trying to kill Jason from your boring RuneScape. That's what she said. I am. Hey, hey, nice. I thought that one. No. Oh. 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 Because they can't see it, and there's no way they can prove me wrong. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right, so this week. <laughs> oh, Jesus. We're trying to get a No Man's Sky with James. Hasn't played again. We Another touched game. on this a little bit last week, but the game has officially been released now. We have had hands-on time with it. So, uh, before the game was Keep released, on, that they is put hands. out like four videos that was uh, based upon basically the four pillars of what No Man's Sky is, mm-hmm. and that's survive, fight, explore, and trade. Uh, so I figured that would be like a good base for us to like branch, you know, branch off conversations on what, what. James, what the fuck are you doing? I'm trying to talk. <laughs> Keep up. I was trying to make a face. Oh my God. <laughs> so distracting. I'm disappointed <laughs> in you, Keith. Terrible. So first we'll talk about some survival stuff. 
And since Keith said he's not going to touch talk much in this podcast, he can talk about it first. Okay. <laughs> what was this? What? Survival. 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 Surviving, survival, that kind of stuff. So pretty much what you're trying to do is you're trying to collect different elements and materials and everything because you need to try to get back up in space. However, you first start out the game completely crashed. You have life support systems and they need to be refueled by different... Uh, What's the red? I forget. Isotopes. Isotopes, yes. You need to try to get those to get your life uh, life systems working and get them all filled up. However, you also need stuff like iron and everything to try to rebuild your ship so you can move on to the next planet. And then la later on, you get a warp drive, which you need to repair, and you need to try to get a warp cell, which gets you to the next system. All fun and games and really cool. Even though that was ba that was very basic of how I'm explaining it, it was very, it's very awesome. I love yeah. to explore it. Well, like in terms of life support stuff, like you were saying, um, there's like different planets that you'll come across where, you know, mm. you'll have extreme heat temperatures, you'll have extreme cold, you'll have like radio or there's radiation um, or like tox. It's toxic, whatever. Yeah, that's very cool. I so like, like that. So, that, like, that, that'll change how your protection is drained. Right. And along like, depending with your life on, support. And depending on if there's, like, storms or if it's extreme heat or just extreme cool or whatever, it will go down faster depending on how good your stuff is you have on, how good your upgrades, and how bad it actually is outside, which is really neat. I like it a lot. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I like how you can craft, uh, find blueprints, craft upgrades to make your, you know, Armor lasts better, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. It's it's definitely a f fun with that aspect, but I feel like in the long run, which we'll akin uh, talk about even more. It's just it, go it starts going downhill at a certain place, but we'll keep talking about it, and then I'll explain what I mean by that later. Jason, what do you feel about it? About No Man's Sky or the survival part? The survival part. Eh, that's kind of my thoughts on it. I don't. I understand, like, the. It's really hot. You're dying. You need some kind of shield. But it's like every planet I've been to is hazardous to me in some form. That's I've actually point. come across a few where it doesn't drain mine at all. All I gotta do is keep up on life support. There's, uh, there's some barren uh, ones that don't have any kind of light, any type of weather at all but the thing is it drains your life support a little more because it doesn't have any kind of weather effect mm. or radiation effect well life support drains anyways because that's just yeah life support yeah. instead of eating and drinking and all that stuff like that I mean, your life support is what keeps you going it's pretty Principle. much it's like a mix of Star Trek when it comes to that sense you know propulsion life support whatnot. oh well Fuck Star Trek. Not something I really care for, but I don't have strong thoughts either for or, or against it. There's some... Every now and then, you'll you'll come across a planet that has uh, some predatorial animals. Mm -hmm. Has anybody been attacked by predators yet? Oh my god. Yeah, several times. I went yeah. to this one planet and just everything attacked me. I'm like, fuck off. <laughs> I'm trying you know, to mine. I was going around through this one cavern looking for plutonium. And I hear like this little pitter patter pitter patter pitter patter pitter patter patter, and then like I didn't notice because it has like the little notification whenever predators are near you or they're like attack like locked onto you basically, mm -hmm. and I didn't notice that, and then I just started getting hurt, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and the next thing I know, I turn around, and it's like this little grasshopper like praying mantis bastard. <laughs> it's like trying to eat the shit out of me. Every time you see a crab looking enemy, you or just species or whatever you know you're fucked you also know you're absolutely fucked i enjoyed it's every time screwed up i shot at it like he'd come up and they'd always attack me first <laughs> and i'd shoot at him and they run away i'm like get back here <laughs> yeah, come you here, started this we're finishing what it. are you doing that's near bad what i need you, you to come over here right now <laughs> i don't know why i keep messing Let's with your water the fire. i don't mean to i'm sorry it's fine with me but overall in my verdict about the survival part of it mm. It's not too harsh on you. It gets kind of annoying sometimes. Like, with storms. I, there's a couple planets I landed on where there was a storm that happened, like, every two minutes. So I couldn't get anything done. Basic survival is definitely... Very, it's not 
totally easy, but at the same time, it's not something that's going to make you go, what the fuck? Why is this taking so long, and why is it killing me so so quickly? It's it's something you can easily get into. You're, you're going to like that part of it anyways. Yeah. I, I feel mean, like you would be. Once you get use of what you have to collect to keep going and all that stuff, it's it's not too bad. It's mildly enjoyable. The next part is fight. Fighting, combat, all that good stuff. You get to use your little handy dandy multi tool. I I was hoping that there would be more guns in it. I didn't know why, I didn't think there was going to be. I thought you just have your one standard one you start out with the whole game, you just keep getting slots for it. Yeah. Luckily there is and I would like it even more if it just weren't for the fact that you upgrade the same stuff to it. I mean you can do the bolt caster um, like like a shotgun almost like have it pump mm-hmm. out five at once Yeah. but at the same time it's still like you can do that same shot for every gun in the game it's not really different yeah I mean the multi-tools are just a universal yeah well that tool. just that just it just makes it look more like a skin transfer more than it is an actual gun transfer well yeah that's basically that's what it is yeah all I, the multi-tools are the same mm-hmm. I, I don't know I kind of wish it was a little more uh, diverse in that sense, mm-hmm. but it it's still fun. I mean, I I like it, but also the only things you really have to fight with your multi tool are sentinels, are the little drones. But then the further you get up, like, um, like if you get to like a five star rank, whenever your sentinels attacking you, you can get those big old. Star Wars looking things come after you. ATST looking motherfuckers. Yeah, but if it's not that, the dog looking thing or the Sentinels, there's no real difference in enemy enemies either. They're all the same um, robots pretty much. Which, you know, it's, fu- it's fun because it's short and that's not really what the game's about is fighting. It's more about exploring, mm-hmm. which is fine. I just, you know, to, to me it's definitely lacking in that sense. But... In the same breath, I like it. It's fun too. I mean, it's really there's a po- It's like right in the middle. There's a positive and negative. I can go into both, but really, I just I'm okay with what's in there. I just wish there was more. Space pirates. They suck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my god, the space pirates for the ship, anyways, are the worst. Yeah, that's, that's they're what I'm the hardest about. fucking part. If you get like three of those on you, might as well. Just, and especially if you don't have any shield mods mm-hmm. on your ship, just just give up. Yeah, just give up. If you can take down one, you're pretty good. But if you get more than like two, then you should be thinking about either get, escaping or just risk it for the biscuit. Risk it for the biscuit. There you go. You can't even really escape. <laughs> no, yeah. you can't. <laughs> because your pulse engine's deactivated once they find you. I tried to run away. I couldn't run away. Yes. Eventually, they'll stop going after you if you just hold down uh, your accelerator plus your other, ex- like your... Uh, the circle your, button. The circle button, whatever that one does. Eventually, they'll stop shooting you. It takes a while, though. Because I've actually had that help happen where I wanted to escape. God, they almost... They took my shields down a couple of times, but I was finally, finally able to get away from the bastards. It was a long time, though. So it's it's harder to do that, but... It's not impossible. Holding R2 and circle together doesn't make you go any faster. Yeah, it does. It does not. I don't think it does. Yeah, it does. No. No. What are you talking you about? Have like, don't... You have like standard flight, you oh, have R2 flight, you have, flight, you have circle flight, you have your pulse drive flight, and then you have your warp flight. It's all separate. Yeah, well, the one that's faster than the normal is just like going around yeah, taking forever. Yeah, circle. I've been holding both buttons in. You don't have to. You don't have to? No. Fuck me. <laughs> I didn't know that. Because I was there for a little bit, and I was like, I don't notice any difference whatsoever. And I'm yeah, sure there's too. no difference. Shit, I didn't know that. Okay, before we move on to, James, you're not allowed to fucking comment or make any kind of gestures or agree with I was disagree. agreeing with both of them. Yeah, but you don't know what you think about the game. I've been watching some of it, but I agree. It doesn't count. The majority. Doesn't count. I don't care. I don't want to hear your opinion. I'm not looking at you the rest of this podcast. It's kind of hard because you're sitting like, no, I'm good. I turned my head. <laughs> All I'm right. Philip. Gosh. Philip. Philip's Phil. too busy staring at the blue light. Phil. Philip. Phil. Philip. 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 Acknowledge me. Acknowledge us, your friends. 
Why don't you give your opinion about No Man's Sky? Please. <laughs> What do you think about what, what? What are we talking about? Combat. Yeah. What do you think about combat? <clears throat> Tell us. Phil got the trippy by the blue I don't want to get my opinion. What do you think about the game just as a whole? Considering you only played it like ten minutes. <laughs> hate it. <laughs> oh, I hate this fucking game. You better be careful. What do you about hate about it? You don't want to be like this Jim Sterling. Yeah. Is, <clears throat> this game is way too smart for me. The shit that's in it, it's just like says the guy who plays RuneScape. There's so much smart. more to RuneScape. There is a lot to RuneScape. It's different. In terms of materials, items, inventory, all that stuff. I've been playing RuneScape for years now, so I've learned all that stuff. Well, you can learn No Man's Sky. But this game, it, even if I learned it all, it would last me two weeks and I'd be like, this game's fucking shit. Even, e even if I fucking like You're not giving it a chance. That's my opinion. Yeah, I am disappointed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, here's the thing with that, though, Phil. You've been playing RuneScape for years. Years. You yes. understand it because you've been playing it. You stayed with it for that long. For years. For years, like I said. You gave No Man's Sky life 10 days, minutes. To be exact. You didn't care about whether to understand what was in the world. You don't care how much, how many materials you have to get. You don't care where to go in space. <coughs> Triggered. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want me back. Triggered. I, I, I can tell if I like something or not. No Man's Sky, I had a high hopes for it. I really did. I was like, man, this is going to be fucking awesome. Huge ass fucking game. Space. I fucking love space and shit. And Aaron talked to me into fucking getting it. Just, you do I that, didn't Aaron? tell you to buy it at all. You I was just no, telling no, no, you no. about it, and you're like, oh, I'm going to get it. No, no, no. <laughs> it sounds fucking awesome. Like, I mean, just what you said, it sound fuck, it, it did sound awesome. And, yeah, it okay, is awesome. I do think it's awesome, but I'm saying it's too fucking confusing for me. And it is. You have to spend time with it. You have to learn it. He was, it was thinking confusing it was glorious. You can't just give it 10, 20 minutes and then just pass A, make it pass A and move on. You have to stay with it. Especially since you paid 60 bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. especially. <laughs> especially <laughs> that. Hashtag digital download. Hashtag no refunds. Exactly. <laughs> digital future. Wait, you got, all in all, you got no a digital. guys suck stick no, and it, uh, oh. RuneScape is better. Well, <laughs> Phil's getting DDoSed. Rip. That's, oh a bi God. that's a biased comment. That is totally biased. Phil, what's did, you your, buy, uh, did you buy it digitally? Yes. Oh, Phil, yeah. what's your Twitch account name? Phil, oh. Don't answer that. Wait, why do you want just, to... Just answer it. Just the answer it. Answer it. Just, just say it. Phil Tuck. Loves Jason 1993. That's not, <laughs> that's that's not right. Take out the Loves Jason part. <laughs> It's Phil Tuck, 1993. There you go, you, you people that. Oh, I'm choking. There you go, people that. God damn it. Oh, man. Well, congratulations, Phil. Good You're job, about Phil. to get DDoSed. I mean, You're a fuck. Can I get a cap in the chat? Hashtag PogChamp. Hashtag Smork in the chat, yo. Do the hand thing, homie. Hashtag eat my dick, please. <laughs> If you, I, Phil, I did you can't see idiot. what he did. The hand <laughs> thing is, the hand just thing him is him just raising his, his hand, hand over his head in yep. a fast uh, movement. Hashtag eyes beside and um, uh, sponsor me. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So combat overall, I mean, it's kind of a thing. It's a good thing. You really, like Keith said, unless unless you're on a planet where the Sentinels are very aggressive. Yeah. You really don't have to worry about it too much. More or less, you just use your multi-tool to mine stuff. Mm -hmm. The next one <laughs> just is trading. Wait a minute. What? Jason, what did you do? Jason, what did you do? You just deleted Pokemon Go. I did. Oh. 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 Wow. Oh. I know. I, th I think we all need to follow in Jason's thoughts. Yeah, I'm here. actually kind of agreeing with that. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> I got tired of walking around for you a bunch of bullcrap. You there. And not, no one knows Rip. where the fuck it is anymore because they won't fix their map. Just get system. sun and moon. Wait, that grass I will get sun and moon. Don't worry. The what? grass thing is pretty much how they were had it before. So only it does I will. Three steps and then the next I, I need to find a 3DS. Kind of like that. Yeah. I will. It's dumb. I don't have money. They, they've literally made the game worse. I don't have they Jason money. They made people not want to play it. They had the opportunity to make... Um, I guess they did make fucking billions. They did for the first they two weeks. They could make more billions. They could have made more money. <laughs> they could make billions and Jason billions. Money. Exactly. <laughs> they fucked up royally. 
the, 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 the uh, next level of this too. since I mean, yeah let's get back to no man's it's Sky. it's the third it's three That's out of four that are the least important ones of the game because I'm saving the big one for last then this one is <coughs> trading <coughs> help me the economic system <laughs> all that kind of stuff I mean it's pretty straightforward just about any other kind of game you just you have materials or you'll get special items out in different on the planets and stuff that you can take back to space stations or terminals or whatever and sell for units mm -hmm. and you can use units to get different multi-tools or swap out ships all that good stuff it's definitely a good system yeah. like even even the ships that are higher up that has way more slots seem more like reasonable prices like yeah. it <laughs> damn it oh just like the last podcast when Keith was playing Pokemon Go, now it's James's turn to play Pokemon Go during the podcast. I don't have that problem anymore. I'm That's so, right. <laughs> I was uh, signing out because I'm going uh, to delete Pokemon Go. Why'd you sign Why out? You, you sign out if you're deleted. deleting it. <laughs> Whenever you delete an app, it deletes the app and all of the data. I know, but I just I signed out. <laughs> Okay, I go. I go an extra step. <laughs> oh, I love this podcast. I love it. Love my friends. Love everybody. Here. Every time I hear that noise now, I can't think of home improvement. I think of that damn video with that little black baby doll with the face that's crushed in. <laughs> what? Yeah, so, I've, I've never it. seen that. It's I've so funny. It. You haven't seen it? I've never seen I've it. I've shared it on gonna, Facebook. I'm going to have to Damn it, it Keith. Yeah. We'll check it out later. <laughs> well, Pokemon Go is deleted off my phone. Any, anything else to say really about the trading economic kind of stuff? I have one thing that is really simple, but I did appreciate at least, is different systems have different, like, I guess it's uh, trade bonuses or whatever. Right. Like one thing's more worth more in one system than it is in another system. Yeah, that's something like cool. different charms and stuff. Yeah, but even like um, materials you could get, like you can farm plutonium or something, and one system has a lot of it, but the other system is like you get like two point three percent more money from it or whatever. Hmm. Two point oh, three. Oh, okay. I get what you. I yeah. get what you're saying now. That's what those percentage things are for. Uh -huh. I've okay. heard. I've heard I never there really was paid a, much attention or thought much about yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. I, I've I heard that. like, I think today or yesterday or something. Someone's people been posting videos about unlimited money glitches on uh, No Man's Sky. Oh yeah. Boo. There's, there's a du there's a dupe glitch out there and. Yeah. One, those people, one of the people I work with told me today. He's like, I, I've been doing that. I've been doing that money glitch, and I got like you a whole bunch of money. Person. No, because he's a good it's guy. Just, it Fuck seems, off. It seems like a pain. No, it's I've, not. Damn I saw one of. <laughs> I saw a video Paul on how to play do no one of them, but it just well, seemed like too much of he a. He doesn't pain have a PlayStation pain in the ass. He's an Xbox guy, man. Too much of a pain in the ass. I'd rather just play too. the game outright straight, <laughs> because it's not hard to come by credits. I have both too. So, I want to do a drinking game with Phil. Not with. No, I'm not going to drink. <laughs> so is this Phil going to be drinking? I got liquor. Every time I burp, you have to do a shot of liquor because I've burped that seven times. That is shit. I'm not getting wasted. <laughs> Please don't. We don't want you shaving your nuts again. Please don't, Phil. Oh, hell. Whoa. Hey, yo. <laughs> Why'd you have to say that, Keith? Because. The poor Phil. It. But the last part. I, I saved the exploration part for last because. That is the bread and butter of what No Man's Sky is. Just shoot me, Jesus. The bread <laughs> on top of that. In terms of exploration, I'm talking about, we're talking about, like, different planet types. We're talking about scope and scale. We're talking about just all that good stuff. All the goodness. Creatures and whatnot. I mean, let's start with Jason. <laughs> you really? One of the things you always see in this game with the videos for it is they go to that stupid map and they fly around and you see all these stupid stars and it's like you can go to anyone you want and then it's like that's cool and then it's different when you do it and you're like yeah. what the fuck yeah you get in the game and you just see like these like thousands millions of stars that like through the loading screen that you that just fly by you and each and every single one of those stars you can go to that's a star system that you can physically go to in the game that has planets and environments and life and organisms and all that stuff. It's just, it's insane. I mean, I think the official number was like 18.6 quintillion planets. Oh my god. 
Because there, there, there was an exact number that I found out there, and it was like 18.6. So it wasn't 18 flat. So that's mm-hmm. another 600 some whatever is before quintillion, additionally from what we believed that there were. So just to add insult to injury, <laughs> I'm, that, I'm sitting here shaking my head. Much more. Just take me about, take me out back and shoot me. God, <laughs> this is a team. This is, this was made by Hello Games. This is a team of thirteen people. Jerry Danger. If you look at the credits, it's one page. Yeah, thirteen people basically did the impossible thanks to math, algorithms, all that good stuff. But like, like Jason said. Leading up to the game, you hear about all that stuff like, oh, look at all these stars. You can go to each and every one of those stars and explore it. But like, when you actually get in the game and actually realize like the scope and scale of everything, it's just you just you can't wrap your head around it. It's just so massive. However, with that might also become a problem that most people have with the game, is that it very it, after a while of playing it, if you're not someone that's into exploring all these different worlds. It does start to become very barren. It starts to become very monotonous. repetitive, monotonous, monotonous. Yes, I will agree about that. I've, I've which heard, is why I recommend not playing this if you don't like exploration. Exactly. The way the best thing I've heard about how to describe that is I was watching Man vs. Game stream this on Twitch, and he said it's like you're in a huge, amazingly big ocean. That's only two feet deep. Hmm. It's it's got a lot of it's got a lot of planets. Don't get me wrong, but eventually it just starts feeling like you know just the colors are changing and some of the plant life is bigger than it was on another planet and some of the some of the materials have just changed spots. However. Like, like you're always going to see those huge blocks of heridium, but then sometimes you're going to see those huge things of gold, or it's going to change up for aluminum, but then heridium's still going to be there. It doesn't really feel like it's a huge differenti- uh, difference in between each planet. Yeah. Um, however, the coolest things about this thing, I believe, are like the, the you go to space uh, stations. Which yes. also become very more repetitive because they look the same each one you go to. Yeah. However, you can't argue like, well, maybe they were made by the same people, but then that's every planet and every system in the galaxy. Then you have the Atlas interface, which is probably the coolest part in the game. Then you have the monoliths that are awesome to find. However, with there only being three species, that starts to get old after a while. But still, I thought it was very awesome, the fact that you can go through and learn... Oh, language. yeah, I did too. I, I love that. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I just wish there was more uh, ga- uh, more people, like more... Species. Species, sorry, yeah. yeah. Then there's like the space odysseys that get you like probably an Atlas Pass or just something bigger upgrade here and there and everywhere. But then after that, you're left with exploring the worlds and maybe getting in a dogfight every once in a while with the pirates, which come... Actually, not as often as what we probably say they did. It's cool. Like, each and every aspect is cool. But once you've played it for about four, five, six, seven hours, I could totally see where some people would be like, man, this is the same kind of fight I was just into. Or, man, this is the same area I was just at. Or, man, this planet is really pretty. However, it looks like the past three or four planets I've seen. I mean, this is a game that could have benefited so much more on maybe halfening. Because even half of the planets that we have in the game now is really impressive. If they would have halfened that and put more into what's actually in the game, this game could possibly be amazing. Like, even more amazing than it was already infathomably uh, could be believed. The fact that it is now, you got a lot of planets to explore, and yeah, you got a lot of color changes here and there and everywhere, but it's basically, at the end of the day, you get everything out of it and then like 10 hours of play. Yeah, but in, in an argument to that, mm-hmm. everything is deterministic. Yeah. 
it's you don't know what the hell you're going into until you finally get there. Right. Like it's made up on the spot. Yeah. But also at the same time, once you've seen that, if you come up to it again, you, you've seen it. Yeah, but there's only so much organisms. There's only so much that organisms can differentiate overall on a on a scale like that. I mean. Yeah, but I feel like they could they could have. I mean, it might have different different. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, like a different, I don't know, like biological code. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, grass is still grass. Yeah. Trees are still trees. All that kind of stuff. Right. And I yeah, understand like that. Genetic, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah. I mean, it can have different genetic codes and all that stuff, but at the end of the day, it's still what it is. Yeah. I mean, you, can, you can only differentiate so much. No, I understand that, but like... Especially but, the scale. But like, there's some, like the planets itself, some are water... Some have a lot of water on them. Some are very barren. I finally ran into one earlier today that was basically just nothing but water. Really? Yeah. I haven't seen one of those yet. Yeah. I've just seen ones that have water on it and ones that are just regular planets that but don't hardly have any water on it. I didn't stay on it very long, though, because it had a toxic atmosphere to it. So I was just like, nah, my my life support's going to be gone in like three seconds. I'm out of (laughs) here. But yeah, the whole planet was just freaking water. It... It, it, there's no real difference in, you know, there's there's nothing that really sticks out, like, naturally, mm, how do I explain it? What do we have here that's kind of naturally beautiful? We have some kind of rock here. Katy Perry. Katy Perry is naturally beautiful, yes. Yeah, that's true. But I meant, like... Devil's Tea Table? What is that? It's out in the woods. It's a... Naturally beautiful rock. Uh, rock. Well, it's I up near Cross Lanes, isn't it? Yeah. It, d- no, it no, doesn't no, have no. this. This I found the word I was looking for. It's like a landmark. It doesn't have like certain planets don't have natural landmarks that people can see and be like, "Dang, that makes that planet very unique." All the planets generally look the same whenever it comes to. Um, I have felt the complete opposite of what you're saying for every planet that I've come across. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been I, I've been to like six different systems and maybe like sixteen planets all together, and each and every one of them I've like come down onto them through the atmosphere and was just like, this place is pretty wicked because every single one that I've ran into has been unique. I've I've seen some repetition in like f- flora life and stuff like that, like plants and stuff, but which, all all the planets all together has just been they've just been freaking awesome. But then again, this is like my kind of game. I yeah. love exploration this, stuff like this. This is my kind of game too. I'm just trying to make the argument for someone that maybe this game is not for. Yeah, exactly. I, I totally understand where you're and, coming from. And you know, I totally understand that like for people like you and me, this game is just amazing because I love yeah, going this through is, everything. This is everything I could ever want and more. For an explorer game, yeah. this is it. This, this is what I want. It's going to take me years just to get to the center of the galaxy if I ever want to. That's one. That's that's another thing I was saying. Like, mm-hmm. there are some you can find like outposts and stuff on planets that will have like a beacon, and if you decode it right, it'll give you like a special location, like a special marker on that planet to go to. Mm-hmm. I've gotten some of them that were that were like forty minutes real lifetime away from me. Yeah, me too. Like that's just crazy. <laughs> it's 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 awesome. It, and uh, and to even add to that, you can use your visor to scan structures and stuff and it'll leave like a little white dot I usually do that so I know where I've been but there there was one there I was think one you're telling me something I, went, I have no fucking idea yeah. you could do what? there was one planet I went to and I'm, I scanned the very first place I stopped at mm-hmm. and then I I found one of those beacons or whatever mm-hmm. and went like I don't know some odd few ten minutes away marked that plate marked the last place that I left from like I I'd had to been like a good solid I spent like a good solid three hours on that planet alone. I didn't know you could I went, go back. I went back up to the space station and looked at that planet, mm-hmm. and you could not even see a gap in between those two dots. Really? That's how big those planets are. Oh my gosh. So okay. like spending several hours mm-hmm. of traveling across those planets, the, the gap between those two white dots were just, you could barely even see it. That's awesome. I, I didn't just, know you could do I, that. I explored not even 1% of that planet in three hours. That's how big the planets are. That just blows my mind. Mm-hmm. Like, 
along with the scale of just the, the galaxy itself. Oh, when I first put the game on, which, by the way, self-promotion here just for the Putty Squad, I did a six hour, my first six hours live on Twitch, and I posted all that on they on uh, YouTube. If you want to go check that out, just look up Putty Squad on YouTube.com. Shameless plug. Exactly. And whenever <laughs> I first started playing the game, no shame. I was just like, holy shit, man. This is one planet. Mm-hmm. And then I got to the second planet. I'm just like, oh these, my these god! Planets, some of these planets seem like the size of just like whole other games. Right. That's that's just what's crazy about it. But then, like again, once you start playing it more and you get into it, you get to like your thirtieth planet or your fortieth planet, and then you're starting to see some similarities that are there that you probably have that you've probably seen in other planets or if you're trying if you're trying to be a person that tries to get to the center of the universe as quick center of the galaxy I should say as quick as possible those similarities become more of a thing like each planet might have different variants in it that you have to explore look at first but if you're not someone that's look that's exploring which you should be because that's what the game's all about Mm -hmm. and trying to go to different planets yeah it can definitely seem very similar at, at, at a certain point yeah that's what. That's mostly why I'm getting at there. I got you. I got you. I agree. Jason, what do you think about the exploration? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Partly don't know. because I had to start over, so I've only been to like two solar systems. Oh, well, that is true. There have been some crashing issues. Mm. Yeah, I had that nice pre-order bonus ship, and then suddenly I didn't have a hyperdrive, and, and I didn't feel like searching for one, so I started over to do the tutorial that gave me one. So, rip. Rip, yep. And no, well, and also, ba- well, based off what we, me and Keith have talked about, do you have anything to go with that? I kind of agree, sort of, with Keith's thing of supermassive ocean is two feet deep. I think that's kind of a good way to explain it. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree to an extent too, but there's there's also I can there's too much of an explorer inside of me that I see oh, past, I yeah. see past that very easily. Yeah, like I'll go to the deepest just, part of that two foot place. Just, and I'm start so anxious looking. to move on to the next thing. It just <laughs> doesn't even bother me. But what were you gonna say? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played enough. I've only played like three or four hours. I think I think Jason wants to go on to his rant. No. My thoughts in general about No Man's Sky are... Eh. <laughs> Neither good nor bad. It's a game. I, can, I understand, I play it. I understand that from you because you've had some issues for sure. So. I mean, it's fun, I guess. I enjoy flying around. I, mean, if you, I wish I had a better ship so I wouldn't get blown up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's... If you enjoy space, if you enjoy exploration, if you enjoy just something so massive that it's just hard to wrap your brain around, play this game. But I thought it'd be kind of a well, yeah. What Rating. Would what would you, out of ten? What would you give this? That's what I was going to bring up. Okay. I would give it a ten. Give it a ten. Yes, easily a ten out of ten. Because this is like my kind of fucking game right here. This is an exploration game that I've wanted for a long time. All right. And See. Like like I said, whenever it came out, when I first played it, I landed on the first planet and was like, this is everything I could hope this game would be. See? And more. I I very much like it, like I've been saying. I can't give it a perfect score. I have to probably get like an 8.5 to a 9. Uh, it's pretty close to, to great, to perfect to me, but there's still that repetition that it could start really getting to me at the at the end of the day. But that's going to be a long ways away for me. Yeah. I'm going to enjoy every bit of it no matter what. Yeah. Well, I, f- I feel like the same for me, too. There's there's going to be some point where I'm going to be like, okay, I'm just I'm just going to, I feel, I'm just going to keep my head down and try and beeline it to the center as fast as I can. But right I, now, I'm enjoying what I'm seeing. I feel like, though, that they're going to start working on patching it up and everything before you get to that point. Yeah. Well, I mean... If you're exploring every planet like you should be doing... I think they're going to be working on it some to where maybe planets later on you see that are generated randomly look better. Or there's something different about them that right off the bat you're going to be like, holy shit. I mean, I could totally see that as a possibility. There's yeah. always room for expansion. Like we said, the game is only 6 gigabytes with the day one patch. Yeah. So, I mean, 
you've got some room to play with. I mean, mm-hmm. you can add some more stuff. I don't see why they why they couldn't if they if that ever becomes a thing. They've said they're working on base building and having freighters. Hmm. Hmm. That's awesome. the next thing they're gonna do. And right. there was some other like technical stuff, but what's your rating for it, Jason? I have a question on how we're rating it. Like what kind of scale is this? Is this like one to ten? No, I mean like hundred equals in like a grading scale, but like seventy five ish is like C. And then, like, you're getting in the 60s, and it's like, you failed. Yeah. Because I like the IGN scale, at least, where it's like 10 is masterpiece, 9 is great, or something like that. 8's good, 7's okay. Yeah. 6 is meh. Yeah, just just go with whatever. It's just a a generic 1 to 1 out of 10 scale. Yeah. Or 0 out of 10, depending on what game we get to that's 0. My opinion may change. I'm definitely going to play it more. We'll see what happens. Right now, maybe somewhere between 7 and 8. Low 7, probably. That makes sense. 7.2. Sure. There we go. 7.2. 7.2. Jeb hasn't played the fucking game, so he can't give it a rating. And then Phil. I can give it a rating. I say 7 out of 10. Um... The only reason I, I the, the only reason I do not give it a ten is because it's fucking too smart for me. <laughs> just just trust us. Spend some more time with it. <clears throat> I give a seven out of ten because I haven't really played it all that much, but I like what I see about the game. But just give it a chance. Just please give it. You have you have, you have to give it a chance. You will love me. it like me and Keith do. But mm-hmm. I feel like if I if if I learn it and I I get my grade ten. <laughs> get your fucking grade 10 <laughs> alright Ricky <laughs> I'm getting drunk and eat chicken fingers I feel like I'll be able to like it but I I need to play it more Jeb play this damn game <laughs> okay and we'll come back to you on a later day and get your opinion a later day yes. I want to give my real score not later day for this. Laid a later day I said day. later day <laughs> right after this oh, I know but I just, I just wanted to say that I want to say you mentioned that brother. the crashes earlier I'll start talking to James right before we started how he didn't want to play this game be- for one of the reasons because of all the crashes and everything that happened. Understand. Happening. Which, yeah. The, I, didn't, the I only... didn't run into any crashes until today. I've had, I had two crashes today and I was like, I looked it up. They said that they're working on some fixes. I'm like, okay, I can deal with that. You know, I'll kind of put it on the back burner for right now until they get it fixed because mm-hmm. I still really want to play it. But if I'm going to get interrupted every two minutes for crashes or whatever... Yeah. I'm just not going to deal with it. But I like the game enough. I see the potential in it. I'm willing to wait. I've been playing this game probably for about a good 10, 12 hours. Like, full-time play right now. Not that much, to be honest. But I that I had a crash earlier happen during a stream. It That was only like my second or third crash. Yeah. So, it's not like these crashes are very frequent. I could understand, yeah, like what you said, if they're happening every couple minutes, I'd be like, damn, I'm not playing this game. Yeah. How infrequent they are compared to how many times people just bitch about it and just complain and just, you see it online so much, that's probably like one, one crash or two crashes people have had. Com- and, but you're just seeing so, <laughs> unless your name is Hike. <laughs> then, <laughs> You have like a crash every couple seconds, but we'll. That's neither here nor there. Yeah. Honda. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I just thought of something. What'd you think uh, of? What was something you where I just moved to an apartment, I'm still not sure at what point is the too loud point. So I've been trying to keep my TV down low, so I haven't heard the music. And then last night, I hooked my headphones into the PlayStation 4 controller. Let's do it. And oh my god, the music. The, the music, music is, is awesome. Oh it my is god. perfect for this game. It is amazing. I love it. Because it's so spacey and just... It fits. Yeah, it's just perfect. It, like, it, as you're going around on the planet, you hear the... It's I mean, the it's music. It's just real space. Like, a, a good comparison for me, music-wise, would be Mass Effect. Mm. It gives me a very Mass effect <laughs> vibe. Just because of the music. Because it, it also gives me... <clears throat> Mass Effect 1 flashbacks and it makes me miss the Mako a lot. Oh. <laughs> it's coming back. It, it is coming back. It makes, it makes 
what you feel like space should look like what it looks like in sound what it sounds like yeah, yeah exactly it's it's just perfect the it's, soundtrack is great it's crazy it's awesome I think you can buy it can you buy I it I think it's on the iTunes oh, store oh, oh, don't nice. quote me but I've seen it somewhere where someone's bought it somehow lovely also are you ready to hear my real score for it yes yeah. Yeah, give me your real score Zero out of ten. No t- not enough turn base. It's not a JRPG. Uh, uh, everything should be JPR, JRPG. Rip, Jason. Rip JRPGs. <laughs> By the way, we, we were talking about this earlier. We wanted a Harry Potter MMO, so make that happen, somebody. Yes, do it. I want the hog. I want Hogwarts to be the tutorial. Come on, Bungie. Damn Some- it. Someone is that <laughs> bungee? Wow. Okay. All right. Whatever. First person shooter. There you go. First person shooter Harry Potter. We'll call it. They have a third person shooter Harry Potter. They'll call fast. it Hunger Games. <laughs> Someone actually made a new Pokemon game. I played some of those Harry Potter, po- older Harry Potter games. Oh. Like for PS2 or whatever. Yes. I can't remember exactly which ones though, but I enjoyed them. I played the first one, and then I got to the point where I had the troll, and it scared me, so I quit. <laughs> I was a cowardly child. <laughs> yeah, to, they're working on a Pokemon game for the NX, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I don't yes. know. I was just bringing up the whole fan-made one that came out this week. Oh, I was no it Uranium? It. Pokemon Uranium came out. It has. How the fuck did it get this far? It has people downloading it, and uh, I, I mean, like, how did I they can't get... even fucking download it because there's so many people trying to get it. How did it get to the point where people are even aware of it? I don't know, but I'm glad it has 150, <laughs> 160, Nintendo, come on. It has 150, 160 plus Pokemon that are brand new. They're not in any other game. So if they wanted to sell this game in stores, they just, or just to someone like on Steam. They just need to take off the Pokemon name, and they could have their own version of a Pokemon game, which is awesome. But yeah. you know, it's going to get taken down. It's just a matter of time. Pokemon is Nintendo timeless. Nintendo and Niantic That's why it's so popular. Coming. That's exactly. the answer to your question, Jason. What? Pokemon is timeless. Pokemon is timeless. Huh? Yes, it really is. Pokemon? I mean, you see the popularity of Pokemon Go twenty years, basically like almost twenty years later after the Indigo series came out. That's true. It's pretty I mean, insane. Pokemon how Go itself just blew up. In two weeks, that was like beating Twitter or Facebook of top downloads on iTunes and on the Google Play. Yeah. It's crazy. I have a side note about Pokemon Go. I was thinking about this today. Uh-oh. I don't know. Brace yourself. <laughs> <laughs> we all grew up with the Gen 1 stuff. Mm-hmm. I wonder what the kids' thoughts that didn't play Gen 1 think about. Pokemon Go because it's all Gen 1. Honestly, I don't Are want they their even opinion. aware of some of these people? Honestly, I, don't, I don't even want their opinion, to be honest with you. Their thoughts are probably, I don't care about any of them except for Pikachu, just like our thoughts are we don't yeah. care about anyone except for Pikachu. That's not true. I want a Charmander, but Dragonite. I deleted it. So. Psyduck. I wanted a Charmeleon. I love, I love Charmeleon. I love Psyduck. I got a Psyduck. I'm happy with Gen that. 1 and Gen 2 are the only Pokemon I've ever cared about. Anything past that can S my D. I yeah. thought three was. I okay, said it once and I'll say it again. That's the point where I I quit is three. I didn't even. I sort of made it in two. Like I wasn't into it that much as a kid, anyways. But I was into it. I knew. I know most of these Pokemon just yeah, by yeah. looking at. It. I just didn't know my name. Mm-hmm. So when I played Pokemon Go, I was like, "Cool, I know these guys." Then I, I started looking it up. Looked at Gen two. I'm just like, "Hey, I know that little egg looking thing Misty used to carry around." As soon as Gen 3 Togepi. got there, uh, huh? Yeah, Togepi. Togepi. And no, then this. Togepi. 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 You do it so good. Oh my god. <laughs> he really does. <laughs> Damn wow. It. I've never heard that before. That is pretty good. He does it really good. <laughs> <laughs> and then when Gen now 3. Now it's time for Jason to dress up in Misty like, Cosplay and carry you around. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Let's Jason. do it, Jason. Jason, Jason will you short carry shorts me around? And all. Yes. <laughs> that's sexy I need to dye my hair will red you, will you hold me in <laughs> your you arms Jason I'll try <laughs> and, and let me go I feel like that's a Halloween <laughs> idea God is back again 
my god. No way. And I must tell Jab, if you do that one more time, I will smite thee with the smite of a thousand Smithers! <laughs> Mr. Smithers from The Simpsons? <laughs> you don't know my power! Oh, shit. You, you, have, no, you have no power here. You don't know me. You don't I'll know see myself out the door. <laughs> you are no god. You will do that. <laughs> <laughs> Zap! Okay, Jason, you mentioned something about the uh, fantasy of the finality. Oh, my fucking god. <laughs> that is one, number one five 15. Ba- one five. Well, not one there, five backwards. This is 15. breaking news, people. Okay, okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There are... <laughs> it's the same thing that happened with No Man's Sky. About a few days before it was officially delayed, people at GameStop like, were saying when they shouldn't have been saying that they were given new release dates and told to change all their like posters and billboards and junk. Same thing is happening with Final Fantasy XV. And it's changing it from September 30th to November 29th. That's a big jump. <laughs> this game has been in development for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> Feel my pain with Kingdom Hearts 3, bitch! The, the difference is Kingdom Hearts 3 is not in development now. Oh, rip. <laughs> I'm sorry for calling you a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Final Fantasy versus 13 was what it was called, I think. And then they changed it. At some E3 a few years ago, too. Final Fantasy Versus 13. Versus 13. The title itself just makes no damn sense. (laughs) (laughs) Which is probably why they changed it to 15. But what gets me is... Aren't they technically on like 27 now? I'm sure they are. (laughs) What gets me is... Final Fantasy 82. They had that big reveal a few months ago. And they made just the biggest deal about the release date. Woo, Final Fantasy! And they fucking delayed (laughs) Boo, Square Enix. So, Final Fantasy. Supposedly, their GameStop was told to put their new stuff up Sunday, so we'll see if Square Enix says anything. Are you gonna Are you gonna play Final Fantasy 15 with your PlayStation VR? <laughs> Fuck no. Why not? This <laughs> is dumb. No, I must play my Final Fantasy J- game with JRPG with, with VR. It's that's not right gonna up, be right like that though. It's gonna be like. You're playing as here's, Prompto. Here's and another. Right. Well, shooting at We, we kind of dwelled on this last podcast. What the fuck? There are you needs to be at? VR for No Man's Sky. What? Oh, there, there needs to be VR for No Man's I Sky. I hope there will be, but we talked about it a little bit before. But I just want to reiterate how important it is that that should be a thing because it would be that is like one of the perfect games for VR. Ah. Can you imagine that? I can't imagine it. Just and I've been the, imagining like it every being time in the I ship, it. just looking around, being on the planet, just laying around. It's like you're there. It's the perfect game for you. You're not really the objective isn't to shoot stuff, except yeah, for true. mining things. But zero out of ten, more unacceptable. Than anything else, unless you're just a a, a a thieving little bastard who likes to take everything, and then the sentinels are like, eh, "You better stop." We're going to get you because we're little floaty robot bastards. I enjoy it when they come after me because then I just shoot them out of the air and take right all their you. stuff. Fuck them. Yeah. Half the time I just shoot them out of the air before they can call reinforcements. So yeah. Yesterday when I put the headphones on and then played the mute combat <laughs> music, I was just shooting them all as they came by. I just hear the music. <laughs> <laughs> After what Phil just told me, I don't think you should play No Man's Sky. I'm just saying... <clears throat> Wow. That thing changes color. He was looking at the splitter. He's like, that thing changes color. It does change color. It changes from red to blue. That's fucking cool. It is. It is cool. You know what else is cool? What? A bag of ice. On that note, that's it for this Putty Squad <laughs> podcast. Is it? It fuck? is. Is it? It is. I feel like there's something else we need to talk about. What do you want to talk about? Um, Bears. Just life, man. Psych. It's not the end. Bears. What are we talk about? Just life, man. Bears. What about life, man? Bears. Just just keep talking because I'll think of whatever it was I want to talk about. Bears. Oh, yeah. THQ. That just got announced today. THQ is now back. Quote, quote back. Quote, unquote, back. Yeah, it's, th- back back. it's THQ Nordic now. They're back in the THQ saddle Nordic. again. Nordic. Mm-hmm. In their biggest IP. What do they have? Dark Siders. Say, what do they have I on think it's IP Dark Siders. Dark Siders. Red Faction. Darksiders is probably part of the... Bi- oh, Red Faction is there too? Uh-oh. Red Faction, Darksiders, uh, the... What was it? Uh, fuck. The, the, I saw a list at some point, but I can only remember Red Faction. <laughs> what game is that? <laughs> the, what the, was it? 
Oh my god. He's doing some market research. I have to market research this up because I honestly cannot remember what the games were. Satellites are winking up. Into that news station noise thing they, they play whenever they're... Okay, so their banner says games Elix, The Guild 3, Battle Chasers Nightmare, or Night War, excuse me, Spell Force 3, Warhammer The End Times, x Mid. X Men Die Tide. X there you Xer. go. Good job, there Keith. You. <laughs> Dark Siders War Master Edition. It's the ornaments all over again. Oh my <laughs> god! Well, at least I'm not saying okay. Fuck me. Man, you said. You said. God damn it. Oh, I did say. Okay, I'll do it again. Could now. be like. God damn it. <laughs> Could be like Phil saying Macan. God. Damn it! No, no, not even that energetic. It was pretty lethargic. God damn it! <laughs> Close enough. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that's that's kind of cool. I mean, THQ's been gone for what about five years now? Almost seems Ish. like. I have no idea. It's been gone for a decent bit, surprisingly. So I'm I'm happy with that. Freaking heck! I love THQ. Whenever they had a. Saints Row under their thing, and they had the WWE games, and then Dark Siders, of course. Darksiders 2 is They did have amazing. the WWE games. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I owned one of them. Mm -hmm. Or maybe two of them. Darksiders 2 maybe is probably the best one, that they, uh, best type of fighting game that they've ever made. I never played Darksiders. It's fun. One, one's really good, but two is much better when it comes Dark to Sider, actual fighting. Yeah, I think Darksiders 2, def like, they came out with like a definitive edition, right? Yeah. yeah. If you want to try one, definitely try out Darksiders 2. Didn't they have like... Different kinds of monsters or something in that game. Yeah, it's it's kind of like their version of Devil May Cry, in yeah. a sense. What about Monster Hunters? It could be like that, or I I've never played Monster Hunter. Oh. I've I've seen Monster Monster Hunter. Before. Could it be like that? I'm thinking. That's... I I couldn't tell if it would, would be or not. It might be, but I don't know. Yeah. I I can't tell you. Well, you should know. Yeah, fuck me. <laughs> Come on, Keith. What the Whatever. Hell, Keith. What the hell? Whatever. Can we just, can I just say, thank you guys. This has been a hell of a week, and there's all kinds of rough stuff going on for me right now. There is. It's not but, hell uh, week. <laughs> it's not. It's pretty close. It's close as you can get for right now. Uh, and I just want to appreciate y'all. Just you. always being there, being some of the best friends I've ever had, and us doing this podcast definitely. Definitely makes a lot of bad times uh, a little bit easier. Jason, don't get choked. That's bad, that's bad timing to get choked. <laughs> it's like, you seem like a massive dick right there. <laughs> You're some of the best friends I ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking gag. <laughs> what the hell, man? So, from the bottom of my heart, guys, thank you for being here past, what, two or three months we've been doing this now already? Uh, yeah, just yeah. It's been around two months. Yeah. Doing it. Uh, thank you anybody that's listened. Thank uh, you. We love you all. We'll continue to do all this as long you. as possible. We really do. I got college all coming up <laughs> I'm Jay starting Monday. I'm very excited because that means hopefully I'll start learning more things to where I can get more stuff out to everyone. Because that's, that's my thing. That's what I want to do. I want to make people happy and I want to make people like the stuff that we give out in this podcast Hopefully, is one of those things that's just made your day just a little bit brighter because too. God knows I'm not even going to acknowledge what you said. I don't care because I'm being serious now. I don't know. I, was... I, I just, I thank you all. And with that being said, Aaron, if you want to send it out however you want to, go right on ahead. Yeah. I feel the same way. This is great. I love you guys. We this love is, you guys. This is real great. This is the Putty Squad Podcast. Suck it to me. <laughs> Suck it to Suck me. It to me. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it to me, motherfucker. Um, we'll get it down someday. Fucking rip. Eventually. <laughs>